I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Is President Obama selling out America? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The president continued meeting world leaders today, trying to blunt the recession and rally support for the war in Afghanistan. Meantime, a new Fox News Opinion Dynamics poll shows his job approval slipping a bit. 58% of Americans approve, down from 63% a month ago. And 32% disapprove. That's up six points from the last survey. Talking Points believes fear is driving the president's numbers down. Some Americans believing he has not been effective on the economy so far. Others feel his policies are too socialistic, with the Congressional Budget Office estimating the USA will run up about $9 trillion in deficit over the next 10 years. Some conservative pundits actually believe President Obama is a star chamber guy. A man who secretly wants to turn America into a progressive country modeled on Western Europe. Also, they think he wants to lessen the power of America and sign up for a one world combine of governance. In the past, that kind of thinking was labeled loony, but that's changing. Writing in today's Wall Street Journal, the former prime minister of Denmark says, In Europe, we have been protected from the worst effects of the economic crisis thanks to welfare states built up over the past 60 years to cushion citizens from the threats from the threats from the threats posed by the free market. We can all count on state health care, social housing, education, unemployment support, and other universal tax-funded services. The simplistic dictum of more markets and less government championed by Reagan, Thatcher, and their ideological heirs has failed on a momentous scale. I am hopeful that the G20 will make progress. We must keep up the pressure by demanding a globalization that works for everyone and forge new alliances and new lines of communication across national boundaries. We must develop new progressive ways to achieve global justice. Well, Karl Marx could not have said it better. Global justice requires that a one world government seize private property and distributed it so that every human being is roughly the same amount of resources. The Denmark guy's vision is nothing new, but it's now being recycled as justice. In America, there are a number of powerful people who subscribe to the theory, including billionaire George Soros, former Obama and Clinton advisor John Podesta, and Vermont senator, a senator, Bernie Sanders. Some believe Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Senator Harry Reid, and President Obama himself are sympathetic to the one world global justice view. By the way, I wrote about this in my book, Culture Warrior, and now the far left movement is gaining power as I predicted it would. Key question, where does Barack Obama stand? Are the right wing pundits correct? Is he down with the global justice jihad? There's no hard evidence to suggest that he is, but he has not repudiated the false vision either. Until President Obama does, speculation will rage. And that is the memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction to this from Fox News analysts.